Okay, so we finally got it out of the bowl. We've got the countertop ready. So now it's time to butter up our hands. Uh, Hi. Hey, kiddo. How was school? Sorry, sis. Oh. That was nice. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm filming Taylor through the, through the wow. headrest. Yeah. We're on Taylor vision. Ready to go to bed? You ready to go to bed? <laughs> so this is really kind of funny. <laughs> and there's Hagrid. <laughs> Good morning, Jamily. Okay, so we are ready for inspection. Um, I didn't get my room done as much as I wanted it done, but you know what? For me, it's like it's just as good as it's gonna be for today. Um, we still got to make Sarah's bed for the morning, but Sarah's all dressed and cute for today. We're getting ready to head over to the appointment. Taylor's room is all cleaned and done. Even smells better. Huh. Did you show what he's wearing? Oh yeah. She's got her baby all dressed, looking all adorable. Okay, make sure you pick up your laundry. Any laundry you have, take it and put it out in the laundry room and straighten your bed out. So, all that is done and the kitchen is clean. Like, everything in here is done. Um, we have one glass on the counter. I wonder where that came from and why it's out. Probably Taylor. But yeah, and then I am cleaning up, doing laundry now, and enjoying a good big mug of coffee. And Taylor has the TV up like he's deaf again. Why is it so loud? Dude, what is up with you and the volume? No. No. Leave that turned down. Good gosh. And Taylor, go shut that door, please. So we got towels and stuff done. I even did the kids' bathroom. Taylor helped do that. And I went in there and helped do like the last bit of touch-up. So I'm going to fold up this one, put this one away. But we got the cat stuff all cleaned up. I got their towels hung up in their bathroom. Put that inside the fireplace. The grate needs to go in. And remember to turn it around because those one things need to be facing the front of the fireplace. So turn it around. Yep. There we go. All right. It's all right. You can just wash your hands off. No, this doesn't come out. Yes, it does. Hey, guys. So we just finished the inspection. We passed, of course, thank goodness, which was, was nice. Um, she came in and checked everything, so that was cool. So... Anyway, we had a we had an incident. Let me just tell you guys before we left for our appointment, Sarah's little friend that had stayed the night here a few nights ago, um, just showed up at our house, and I was kind of like taken back by why I she feel just toasty. huh? I feel toasty. Warm. Oh, she just showed up, and I was like, okay, what are you doing here, sweetheart? Because normally I don't let people just show up at my house. You need to call and give us, you know, advanced, you know, forewarning that you're coming over. And anyway, so she just showed up over here. And found out she ran away from home. And so we ended up having to uh, call her mom. But I told her if she ever did that again and just kind of, you know, ran away from home because her mom had punished her and told her she couldn't come out of her room. She needed to stay in her room. She was grounded. And so she ran away. Uh, she showed up over here and I told her the next time she does, I will, I will call, you know, the police on her next time and let them know I have a runaway that just showed up at my house. And, uh, and then call her mom. So her mom said, yeah, next time do that because she's been repeatedly doing it. Every time she gets in trouble, she runs away from home. So Sarah doesn't need that kind of behavior around her. It's a really bad type of influence. And this young lady definitely needs to realize that she can't just leave and expect that I, as Sarah's mom, am just going to let her in my home just because she's a runaway. I'll bring her in here when she, if she shows up here for her own safety. And I will make sure that she gets removed from my home by someone, such as a police officer or her parent. Um, we also found out that she just got in some random stranger's car that pulled up on the roadway next to her and said, do you need a ride? And she got in a car with him and was like, yeah, can you take me to the Walmart? And dropped her off at the Walmart right up the street from us. So, guys, 
Make sure that you tell your kids, you know, just how dangerous it is to get into a complete stranger's car, especially in this in this day and age. I mean, it's just not safe out there. Uh, as much as we want to falsely believe that it might be, it's not. It's just not. There's just too many young ladies being kidnapped and sold and murdered, and it's just it's not safe out there. So yeah i was very disappointed in her actions and as a mom and my daughter seeing sarah's disappointment in her friend and she really laid into her friend about it you know that you can't just do that that's just it's seriously irresponsible and you're 13 years old it's time to start behaving in a manner that says you know you're not a spoiled brat hey jamley so first fire of the season yep Right now we're just kind of doing a cleansing fire right now because the fireplace kind of needs a good clean cleaning. So we're doing that. Sarah's totally chillaxing. Kitty's everywhere! <laughs> Maggie <laughs> Maggie's like, what? what? I know she peeks out of the bathroom. What? And then we've got dinner cooking. Taylor's outside breaking up some more of the wood. Huh? Yeah, I've been watching um, Alaska State Troopers. Because there's nothing else good on right now. Destination Truth! Yeah, that's not even a good show. Oh, come on! It's all repeats, sweetheart. That's why I don't watch it. Say, oh, the reruns! Oh. <sighs> so we are cleaning up. Taylor got his delivery in today for all his formula and stuff. We got Sarah's letters today for, for Sarah's... Um, Insurance finally came Mom. in. What? What? Missed what? The amber on your pants. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. Hey, you can't leave that open. All right. What are you doing? Anyway. Um, no, we're not gonna play with that right now. No, I'm right now airing up my tires and I'm almost done. It's just the little twisty thing stuck. As usual. So that fire is almost completely died down. Yeah, we're just doing a cleansing fire right now because it really, really needs it. Um, it just was so built up, so you just take and put a really hot fire in there and it burns away all the old stuff. Oh, they killed the So, yeah, honey, they have to out there. That's the way they live out there. So, it's not a cow. It's a, um, it's a moose, a baby moose. So, they probably killed the mom and then came back and killed the baby. Maggie. You have to stop chewing on that. Yeah, I know. She's she's got a fetish with the with that wood, and it actually will make her sick if she eats it. It'll give her a really nasty stomach ache. So I've got dinner cooking and it smells so good. Mm -mm, no sodas right now. And Sarah's just feeling good. She just woke up, guys. She took about a two hour nap. Which is about normal for you. And now she's awake. Oh, by the way, Melanie said your room looks very good. Good job. <laughs> and she rolls her eyes. <laughs> I'm tired. I know. And guess what you left laying in my living room? Your two little socks. One on the floor for Tonks to take outside and one on my couch. So. Are you keeping an eye on Sarah? Are you taking care of sister? Yeah? Are you taking care of her? <laughs> he just sits there and looks at me like, what? Come on, fatty. <laughs> he tries to be all gentle about getting up there. <laughs> He's like, okay, I'll lay on you. <laughs> Aww. You're such a good boy. Oh, is that comfortable for you? There you go. It's He's a good boy. Like, I, I know, right? And then we got a cat just chillaxing in the hallway watching. Oh, she's totally watching her brother underneath the bed. <laughs> He's okay. He was outside. All right. So anyway, guys, so we are making dinner and we got, oh, I can't believe that we got everything done that I wanted done before the inspection other than my closet getting done. That's the only thing that did not get completed. Ooh, look at this. Ooh. I know she just had to check and make sure everything had, everybody had space and you know, proper bedroom setups and all that kind of stuff. They just have to make sure. She said no roof line down and there's a crack in this line. Yeah, I know, but that, that's normal from foundation settling. That's kind of stuff you just do a repair on later on. Mm -hmm. So. His little 
But anyway, guys, so we are going to turn this off so that it will thicken. And then I can add the packet of cheese to it. Yeah, he wouldn't even wear any shoes. They're so tiny. You don't count from that to that because that back piece back there is kind of like a like a knee, so to speak. Dogs don't walk on that part of their foot. They walk on just the padded part. So anyway, guys, you want to say goodnight to everybody, Sarah? Tongs is going, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Want to say goodnight, Sarah? Hold on, get off my blanket. He's all right. You want to say goodnight? Yeah. Apparently she's not going to say goodnight. Goodnight. <laughs> goodnight. You want to say goodnight to the jam leaf, Taylor? Goodnight. Goodnight. <laughs> all right, guys, we're going to say goodnight, and we're going to let you know if you like the videos, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button. Come back and see us again tomorrow. We vlog it every day, whether things are good or bad. And hey, guys, thanks again for watching, and we'll talk to you all later. Bye. How's it going there, sir? Someone's pouty right now, but it's because we just finished doing the entire bedroom. I'll show you guys here. You can actually walk in here freely. Look. So we've got her bed all done, and then she took. We did all her arts and crafts. As you can see, we actually cleaned her entire closet out. So she's got her shoes here. Her jackets and then of course up here is her hats and her little, uh, this is like her open.